Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Tyra speaking and I hope you all had a very nice holiday. In this speed build I'm gonna build Fjellstova Ski Lodge which is gonna be a relaxing and a peaceful place where sims can be visiting during weekends and holidays. You can download this build from the sims for gallery and there is a link in the description below. And if you like this build and video, press the like button and you can also follow and subscribe to my channels on YouTube and Twitter. My origin ID is Tyrant Sims if you want to check out my other build as well, you are more than welcome to do so. Since we got the season expansion pack, I haven't really built that many season builds as I wanted to, so I thought this would be a good opportunity to do that. And since it's recently been holiday for a lot of people, I came to think of a ski lodge where your sims can relax and get, regain the strength. The lodge will have four floors and there will be several facilities here so your sims can be entertained and a cute little garden that will, well it won't be so cute in the winter because all the leaves fell off the trees. There will also be several apartments here where you can stay or even live in and I am currently building the balcony to some of them and I am adding stairs so you can enter these apartments without the necessity to enter the rest of the building but that won't apply to all of the apartments. This build is pretty old but it has been decorated a lot with some modern features but still I try to preserve a lot of the historical vibe to make it some way home-like and cozy. So when you first enter this place, there will be a nice reception area where the host will meet and greet you. You can sit and read comfortably while waiting and have some fresh beverages. Or if you already settled in, this would be a really nice place for you to meet other people or just um, read something. I am using the host station for a huge part of the first floor will be a restaurant where the guests can meet up and get something to eat. All the facilities are open for all types of guests, both those who want to stay for the night and those who just visit for the day. But I do recommend to book the table in advance because it's a very well known place where a lot of famous people visit all year around. And the staff working here are both very professional with the greatest smiles and the service is excellent there. The hallway uh, is a place where you can enter the rest of the buildings. There will be two way station here since the restaurant is very busy from opening to closing time. So from here you can enter the kitchen, the restaurant, the lounge and the bar. And of course the second floor. The kitchen isn't really that huge but a lot of great food is made here. And I also place a regular fridge and stove here if you want to make your own meal. The restaurant will be both serving a la carte and buffet, so your guests can choose what they want to eat, but during breakfast it will only be a buffet, but from lunch they will be possible to order both. On the buffet I am placing some fruits and cakes and uh, some dinner supplies. We don't really have any food to present here, which I think is a shame to be honest, because this would look so much more amazing if we had some food to show off. But moving on to the lounge and bar, I wanted it to be a pretty small room because I found it important that it was intimate and cozy. You may also notice that this is quite old fashioned compared to other rooms. But I mentioned it's an old building but this room have preserved a lot of the old and historical vibe. And you can use this room both as a bar and lounge and later I am adding a microphone here. So there's a bar, um, an old fashioned stereo, a piano and a mic and of course uh, some cute little sitting area. You will find one apartment and a huge spa in the second floor. This is probably the most renovated part and I wanted to use relaxing colors that I thought would fit into the surrounding area. The spa will have its own reception where you can wait for your scheduled appointment. There will be fruits and beverages here as well and some books to read while waiting. And behind the counter there will be displayed some organic massage oil that you can buy. So the reception will have a toilet everyone can use but there will also be two wardrobes with a shower room. One for male and one for female where you seems can change it into the robes. And yes I am hanging a lot of robes around. It's a spa after all. So, well, yeah. So after you change, you can either visit the yoga room or one of the two massage rooms. 
I am also adding a sauna and a separate jacuzzi room. I found it hard to decorate a sauna because the room is pretty small and when I came to think about it, sauna doesn't really have much interior. So what I am using here is a couple of mirrors so walls won't be completely sterile. I'm really happy how everything turned out so I hope you like it. I did make sure that the spa have the same theme and colors all around. I really like the Adi with the stone floors along some of the walls and the candle to set a relaxing mood. I also really like the hanging plants in the massage rooms which is from the jungle adventure expansion pack I think. And the bamboo plants of course, well I can't get more spa like than that. So if your teams need to find peace in your soul, this is the place to go. And oh well yeah, the curtains I'm hanging in thin air is just a small detail that I thought would fit nicely here. This is the second spa room. I am using the chairs here so you can get some foot massage and hand massages. I haven't tested it out before making this voiceover but I hope the room isn't too small for you to use properly. If so, I might have to remove one of the chairs here. And as for the first spa room I made, I've only had space for one massage bench. So don't expect a couple's massage while you're staying here. And the jacuzzi room is pretty small as well. And I am continuously using the same plants, floors and furniture all over the spa to keep the proper theme. So the last room I am decorating in the spa is the yoga room. This room is actually in the reception area so you are not really inside the spa. There will be three yoga mats there. I was looking for the teacher's mat but I couldn't find it so I didn't bother to look anymore. So I thought that your students probably would figure this out on its own. So moving forward to the apartments, all the apartments will have their own kitchen and some bathrooms. The kitchen and bathrooms will be very similar to each other and so will the rooms be when it comes to think about it. You can use this lot as a residential lot if you want to because the rooms have a bedroom, TV, sofa, desk with computers or Mac if you rather prefer that. And also the kitchen have everything you need, sink, fridge, stove and a small table. So yeah, fully functional apartments. If I would visit such a place, I would most likely eat in the restaurant, but I thought it would be nice to have the opportunity to make some home cooked meal if you get tired of the restaurant food or just in case you get hungry when it's closed. So that's the idea behind the kitchen attached to these apartments. All the apartments also have this small entrance area where they can put shoes and coats and stuff like that and also a separate balcony where they can sit and relax. The main differences with these apartments is probably the colors but they have the same beds and also the same sofa, night tables, desks and so on. I could use more variety but I didn't want some of the rooms to be like super luxurious while other rooms look rather cheap and shabby. This is a high-end luxurious ski lodge, so you should be prepared to spend a lot of money during your visit here. For the stay and spa and food, it all costs a lot of money. I think it also would be a good idea that the ski lodge would offer their guests an all-inclusive, which basically means that you can pay a pretty high fixed amount and then you can eat and drink as much as you want. I know it doesn't really work that in-game, but I would think it would be rather cool. So not much else to say about these apartments I think. I think everything speaks for itself to be honest but before the mandatory video tour you're gonna see me decorate the garden with some flowers and trees but I will also have this jacuzzi in the garden so you can sit and soak yourself into the hot water while the snow is falling. I was actually recording the video tour when I came up with the idea. I think it would be pretty nice to bring your date here. It would be really romantic sitting outside the two of you alone. And if you visit with friends, I'm pretty sure they would have a great time as well. This slot can be used as both a restaurant, a spa, a lounge, a bar, residential, a park. You pretty much have everything you need. But anyway, stay a little longer to see the video tour with some relaxing music. You can download this build from the Sims 4 gallery and the link is in the description below. You can also check out my other build as well and my original idea is Tarn Sims as mentioned before. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and you can also follow and subscribe to my channels on YouTube, Twitter and Origin.
if you want to see more of my upload leave me a comment below and let me know what you liked and what you didn't like so i can improve my future builds and video thank you so much for watching i wish you all the best take care and i see you soon bye bye